it's time that we wake up and that we realize that the challenges coming from outside are very strong and uh, it's not a, a, an improvement that we feel today in business life that we would justify that we, uh, that we sleep. We have to wake up and work hard, being more innovative. When you see the way uh, uh, countries like China have, I would say, supported their research, they've concentrated on a number of sectors. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that uh, the chemical uh, sector in Europe deserves to be uh, uh, supported and receive stimulus. We don't want uh, to have, I would say, uh, subsidies, well, it, uh, but I would say a system that works, a system whereby innovation is, uh, is promoted and that we keep also our customers in Europe. We have to act now and to, uh, to recognize very fast the, the segments of the industry. We believe that will be winners uh, for the future and then really full speed eliminate barriers, try to have a, a really European policy and not a policy country by country plus Europe, but really a fully integrated uh, R&D and innovation policy. I believe it's really urgent. When you see the, uh, uh, the input of the chemical industry, uh, I would say in climate change, for instance, and when you see the savings that uh, with chemical products, I take the example of insulation, if you have a good insulation at home, you shouldn't look at the emission of CO2 at the moment you produce a product, but you have to look over the lifetime of the product, uh, the savings that are possible. And you've heard what is uh, the, uh, the uh, savings, I would say globally speaking for the industry, you save 2.6 tonnes. Uh, per ton you emit. And that's, I believe, an important contribution. But that's the situation today. We can do much better.